Mr. Lafer, good morning. Ah, good morning to you too, Miss Is Falconeri. It the usual table for two? No, I'll be on my own this morning. Unfortunately, Alice had to leave the country unexpectedly. Oh, nothing wrong. I hope I mean no offense, but problems sort of have the way of following the two of you. Mm, yes, they do. Well, I'll just keep her in my prayers, just in case. Thank you very much, but uh, there's no need. She's actually gone for very good reasons. Robert's finally come out of his coma. Day in and day out with no change. You, you, you must have thought he was never going to come back. It's been a pretty difficult time, especially for Anna. Oh. I mean, I haven't actually spoken to her. I've got a couple of messages from her, but... I'd imagine she's spending a lot of time with Robert. Where'd you go just now? Nowhere. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but it's obvious there's something that you're not entirely happy about. Oh, don't misunderstand me. I'm very relieved that Robert's doing better. It's okay, just... so why the long face? I just hope he doesn't decide that he wants Anna back. What's the matter with you? Thinking Anna's gonna get back together with Robert. They have a complicated history. So what? They had 20 some odd years to get back together while you were gone, but did they? They have a bond. No, no, they didn't. Why not? Because Anna is in love with you. I've seen the way she looks at you when, when she doesn't even know you're looking. It's like, it's like her heart is in her eyes. Well, thank you. That's exactly what I needed to hear today. Thank you. Of course, that Robert Scorpio is pretty, he's pretty smoking hot. You know, he's got that great smile and that sharp style. I mean, the guy is a spy. Okay. He's got a glamorous job. He's got style. He's got a, a great dentist. And he's got what of it? accent, too. It's like it reaches into my soul. I have got an accent, too. Yes, you do, and it's very adorable. It really is. It's just not the same. I didn't realize that you knew Robbie quite so well. Well, I don't. Not really. But enough. Okay, you caught me. The last time he was in town, I was kind of nursing a gigantic crush on him. But he was investigating you. Only you weren't you. You were Cesar Faison. Yeah, that creep Faison who was wandering around Port Charles with my face, trying to hijack my life using my memories. I honestly don't know how you survived that. I think I would have lost my marbles. Well, if it hadn't been for Robert, who figured out that the Duke Lavery, who was trying to worm his way into Anna's life, actually was Faison, then, well, as soon as I see Robert and I'm able to talk to him, I'm going to ask him how the deuce he caught on. Or I could just tell you. Well, were you there when he figured it out? Well, I don't like to toot my own horn. But it was sort of because of me. The doctor said... You know how I have these psychic visions? Sometimes. OK, there was this one day that Duke walked into the Honda store, only it wasn't Duke. I didn't see Duke like everyone else did. I saw this crazy, scraggly-haired, craggy man. You had a vision of Faison. Yes, exactly. Only I didn't know it was Faison at the time. All I knew is it sent chills down my spine, you know, like I was looking into the face of everything evil. So needless to say, I was pretty creeped out. So I went and I told Lulu. Lulu told Robbie. Robbie came and asked me a whole bunch of questions. And then he hooked me up with Elizabeth Weber, who turns out is a really excellent artist. So she drew the face while I described it. Like a police sketch. Yes, exactly. And the face that I described was Faison. And then after that, Robbie was off and running. Well, I don't know what to say. He said, I'm deeply grateful to you. Well, I didn't really do anything. You know, all I did was have a crazy vision. Robbie was the one that took the information and ran with it. Well, he couldn't have done it without your help. Listen, I'm just grateful that this Faison guy is behind bars. And thank God I'm not going to be having any more visions of him. I really should try to call Anna. Today's going to be a difficult day for her. It was her daughter Robin's birthday. Oh. Oh, I hadn't realized. I'm, I'm sorry. That's so sad. Did you know Robin? Not very well, but I knew how much Sonny loved her. I mean, everybody did. I hadn't seen her since she was a child. She was a great champion of mine, but her mother was reluctant to give me a chance. <laughs> as far as stepdaughters go, she was the best stepdaughter in the world. We used to do a lot of things together. We uh, cooked together. I taught her to play the bagpipes. <laughs> I bet the neighbors loved that. No, she did. <laughs> and that's all that mattered. I treasure those memories. Well, you obviously meant a great deal to her. Oh, she meant a great deal to me, too. She'll be forever grateful for you seeing Faison under that mask. I owe you my life. I see. That's the espresso talking. No, it's not. <laughs> if it hadn't been for you and Robert unmasking Faison, I'd still be in Switzerland, strapped to a bed, and I wouldn't have got Anna back over the rest of my life.
Olivia, is something wrong? I saw something. Are you having one of your visions? It better be. What did you see? I saw Faison. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I would know that nasty mug anywhere. Where did you see him? He's right there. I saw him right where that man is. I saw Faison, and he was... And he was what? What was he doing? He was kissing Anna. <laughs> 